Hey guys, today we're gonna tackle the one thing that guitar players fear the absolute most. Even more than a bad bend in a solo. It's the Floyd Rose tremolo system. <gasps> oh. Guitar players all over the world are scared to death of this thing. It's like a mythical creature. They don't wanna have anything to do with it. Luckily, you have a Swede with real blue eyes to help you out. So today we're gonna change strings and set up this ESP LTD KH Kirk Hammett model. Look at it. If you love Metallica, you love this. Woof! Caution, hot. Look at it. Kirk's guitar. Huh? So I'm doing this to help my friend out that's scared to death of this thing. And he asked me, Robin, you know how to do this? You do it. And a lot of people do that. They just send it to a tech and they fix it for them. And that's totally okay as well. But I'm here to show you how I do it. But first, let's start with some Floyd Rose FEQ. Why do I have to adjust it when I change string gauges? And that is because we have two different forces. We have the force from the strings pulling it forward. The stronger the string, the more forward pull it's gonna have. And on the back, we have springs that we adjust to bring it back even more. Let's see if I can do that. Like that. We have these two forces working against each other. And that's why we need to adjust it. So the float rose is actually a floating tremolo. So it just hangs upon these two screws here. So it's actually just a blade moving over those two screws. Hanging free floating. So if you have thicker strings, you get more, your more front push. Then you need to adjust the back so it goes back straight. Can I replace all the strings at once, just cutting them open? Yes, you can. But because it's floating, it's actually gonna pull back way too hard into the body. So it's not gonna be great. You're gonna have a really bad time anyways. So what people do is, I think I'm gonna put a battery or something under it, just to keep it up, just to keep it up at a good level. Otherwise, you just change one string at a time, that also works. What adjust what? Well, that was a fun thing to say. What adjust what? Well, good question. There's a lot of screws going on here. So you have the intonation screws on each saddle. And that moves the saddle back and forth. Then you have the fine tuners. And that's more for fine tuning when everything is locked up. And these back screws is just the locking for the strings. And then you have the two post screws that I talked about. And that's for the height. If you screw them out, higher out, then that's your height. And on a Floyd Rose compared to an ordinary guitar, on ordinary guitar saddles, you have height on every string. For this one, this is a whole set. They have a fixed radius. So you have to lift the whole thing up and adjust the neck. A little complicated, but yeah. Does it have good tuning stability? Yes. Yes, it does. So when everything is set up, it's really stable because you lock the strings up here and that's like the biggest problem on the guitar that the string get caught up here because it moves when you bend the stuff like pull the string then it can get caught and then it loosen up and it goes out of tune but because this is a lock system the only thing is between the saddles and the nut so the strings after they are stretched it's really stable so you can pull pull it back and have fun and it always go back in tune every tune or floyd rose well, that totally depends. You want a tremolo like this, and you have a tremolo bar and can have fun with it? Or do you want to have like basically a hard tail that adjusts itself to keep itself in tune all the time? Depends. Both are real stable when set up. I think every tune gets a win for me for being easier, but for being a tremolo, the Floyd Rose and the Edge, Ibanez Edge, is like the best. When you have the real components, it's, it's perfect. If you have like the licensed versions, well, it can be worse because uh, the metal is a little softer than those. So you can over tighten and uh, it's, yeah, the original is the best. So let's get to it. Woo. Okay, so we have to start somewhere. I'm gonna put, put in the tremolo bar. I'm gonna bend it forward as much as I can. Take a battery, just put it under let it rest upon that. Then I can remove the tremolo bar. I 
that. Now when I've done this, I actually can remove all the strings at once. So I'm gonna do that by using the hex, hex key. And here on the back is where you loosen or tighten the saddle here. Yeah, tune it down first. So we start by loosening this back here. I have this Ibanez tool to open it up. After that, just lift up the string, take it off. Do that on all strings. Yep. So now what happened was that one of the saddles actually popped out. So I'm just gonna put that back again. And that was because he had, he did it wrong. So it's time to put on the Ernie Ball 1046. I actually think this is a new string gauge as well. So it could be cool. If you never changed strings before, this is how you get them, 46. Here's a tip from the champion. Instead of cutting your ball ends off, you just insert them the other way. I'm just gonna show this on one string so you understand. I'm gonna make it a line, put it in this way. So now the ball end locks like this. And because it doesn't go anywhere, because it's gonna be locked behind this, we can actually just turn this back to place like that. Put the string in the string tree and in the saddle. And this is what you get. When you got the string like this, I often use this as a ruler to how much I leave as a slack, but I can leave a little extra today to have it back here by the post. Like so. Now we need to open up the saddle here so we actually can get the string in there. I'm gonna lift it up like this. Make sure I have enough space, put it in. And the trick is now to fold it a little bit like this. And now we can hold the string and lock it up. It don't have to be super tight, just enough so it locks. So you can pull as hard as you can like, up like that. Now we're gonna tune up while holding some pressure on the string. And that's how you do it. So I'm gonna do this same procedure on all strings and I'll come back to you. Oh yeah, extra tip. So when you come to this second string, the A string, you need to get it under the string tree. You can either remove the string tree or use this to fish it up. Huh? Tricky. Okay, be right back. Wow, so with TV Magic, we now have the strings on. We can now remove the battery, if I find the tremolo arm, yes. Put in the tremolo arm, put it forward, remove it. Now it looks pretty okay. What we're after now is that the bridge needs to be flush with the body, this plate. On an Ibanez you have a small line that you have to adjust it to, but with the Floyd Roses you just have to align this plate with the body. Now we need to tune it and stretch the strings, and after that it won't look as pretty. So let's start with that. Now it's time for the gruesome, painful, you hate the world moment. The putting on the strings is pretty easy. Everybody kind of can do it. This is the hard part, but it's not that hard actually. So let's take a look at it. It's time for tuning and stretching the strings. The absolute first thing I'm gonna do is tune it up to ish, where I wanna have it, and also pull a lot of the strings. So for example, the E string. Now it's too much, but if I pull this all over and try to pull it backwards, like this way. Got my tuner on the other screen. 
Oh, now we're back again. Put a little over. And I'm, I'm pretty rough with it actually, because the strings has a lot of slack in them. For each time I do this, it's closer to an E every time. That's like okay now. So now I'll go to the A string. Now I've tuned all the strings and they sound like shit together. And that's because of the balance going up back here. And now you see that the Floyd is tilting forward. And that means that we need to add some more tension on the back. And by that I need to loosen a little bit just to make it easier to pull the screws in the back. The stretching you need to do on all guitars. If you do this, your guitar gonna tune like a dream, otherwise it won't. Pro tip. So, what we're gonna do now, on the back, we have two screws. That will pull this plate back, therefore pulling this back even more. So, let's do that. Where is screwdriver in the wall? And when doing this, it's mostly small turns, but now it's such a big difference, so I'm gonna pull a lot. Now when we tune up, it's gonna look a little bit different. And I know already that it's not gonna be perfect, because if I look at the position of the Floyd right now, when you add, when we tune up later, it's gonna move more forward. So let's put some more pressure back. Now I'm gonna tune it up again and see if I'm in the ballpark or not. And now the stretching begins again. So this is a trick I have, just to keep the tension kind of the same. You'd go E to E, A to B, G to D. Now we'll have it in tune. Ish. We still can, we can lock it down now, how the fine tuners just fix it a little extra. But take a look at the bridge from this side, we still see that it's tilted a little bit forward. So we need to put it just a quarter turn more inwards. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna chance now, see if I can do it. Yes, a smudge. Now we need to tune again because now it's gonna be sharp. Now we're gonna tune again, still a little bit too much forward, yes, let's do the same thing again, it's gonna be great. So this is the part that people hate the most, also they forget to stretch the strings and they tune it up, and then they lock it down and they think everything is amazing, everything will go out of tune because it has a settled square back here. Ugh. So now we're tuned, we need to do it one more time. I'm gonna give it a little more whisk. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, fifth time. This is gonna be the probably be the last one. I hope. Now I'm just being picky. Let's do it a six time. Six times the charm, I probably should have known better in the beginning. But if you do it like this, your strings is gonna be real stretched and everything is gonna feel pretty good when it comes to this stage. Now that everything is solid. So what I'm gonna do now is just raise up the bridge a little bit and you do that on you do that on these two screws that and this that is hanging upon. Problem is that when we do that we actually have to reset we actually have to tune again. But that's okay. And you raise it by just rotating it counterclockwise I'm just trying to see that it's straight that it's equally high you know and yes so now when we raise it the pitch is off again now we have to tune it And now that it's set up, according to kind of how I want it to have, with everything open, I'm just gonna play it for a while and just do a lot of bendings to stretch the strings out and uh, see where I go. Now when it feels great and play great, now, it's time to lock the locking nuts. And that's just to solidify what we have now, so we can keep on having that for a long time to come. Six times, huh? This was a nightmare, but still, doing it with you, it felt great. I hope you felt joining me in this adventure that you feel safe and you're not afraid of the Floyd Rose. I'm not I'm not afraid of no ghost. Let's lock it up, buttercup. And we don't have to over tight it like a madman. Yes, so it's snug like that. Let go. Now we need to tune it again. And also, now is the time to use the fine tuner. We haven't touched that before now. And you see the fine tuners on this guitar is uh, in the middle. So one trick is that you actually lift one up as far as it could go. And you put one as far in as it go. And then you have the other one in the middle. If you understand what I mean. So with this fine tuners, I'm now gonna super finely fix the couple of cents that's wrong. So now the only thing when you play, you don't even have to lock it up here, but if you notice that you're like, oh, I'm a whole step down or something is weird, totally weird has happened. I don't know why the string has stretched maybe. Then you open up again, everything, just tune it as normal, Trying to get the bells in, and then it will be good. Now we can put the tremolo bar in and see if it holds the tuning. Yes!
So guys, that was me just changing strings, setting up the Floyd Rose. What I haven't done now is intonating, and intonating itself is a whole nother chapter in another story. But uh, on the Floyd Rose, you just basically open up the saddle screws that I showed in the beginning, move it back and forward. That's pretty simple. The thing we noticed now today is that I had to tune it six times. That's a lot. That is because I take small steps when I set it up. And also stretching is so important because if you don't stretch the strings, you can't trust what you're doing. I couldn't see, but if I didn't stretch the strings between every time, then I wouldn't have known that between the fourth and the fifth time it would be still a little too forward and we need to pull it back a little bit on the back. So it's really important stretching the strings. A tip is to get strings that doesn't need as much stretching. I know the uh, Diodario NYXLs are really good at stretching. You don't have to stretch that much. So those could probably be, be good for a Floyd Rose guy or girl. Tips, not sponsored, I use elixirs for myself. <laughs> so guys, as you've seen today, if you do it in steps and you do it controlled and you try to keep it scientific-ish, just getting the balance of the point, getting back or forward, then it's not that hard to set up yourself. It takes a little while, but still, when it's set up, it will be set up. And this guitar changed from 942s to 1046s. So we had to adjust a lot in the back because of the new tension coming from the strings pulling everything up, everything forward. If he next time you change strings, follow this guide and put on the same as now, then the hustle will be so much smaller because then it will be just stretching the strings, maybe tweaking a little bit to get it perfect. And then it's perfect, you can just stretch the strings again, tune it up, have fun, lock it down. So guys, hope you found some kind of value in this video. I had a lot of fun doing it, so see ya!